Hello everyone. So on the day I'm recording this, I am turning 16 years old, which using the trademark phrase on my channel is freaking crazy to think about. Now, of course, when you're watching this, at minimum you're watching this during the premiere, so I would have already been 16 for like five days basically but today uh tuesday i'm recording this on tuesday morning uh, i am turning 16 today actually because technically i was born in the afternoon so i'm not 16 yet technically but uh in a couple hours like after school i will be 16 years old so well, technically, te legally, legally I am though. Okay, uh, who cares about this right now? So on Thursday, I'm gonna take the test to get my driving permit. What other way to celebrate turning 16 and getting my driving permit than playing a blank screen because OBS definitely really likes me. Thank you, OBS. Beam and G drive. Now, as much as I would really like to just kind of drive around and like, you know, follow the regular proper traffic laws and like kind of practice like driving kind of, uh, you know, getting in the habit of being a good driver, that's probably going to make for a bit of a boring video. So we're going to do a little bit of regular driving. We will, but I think it's mostly just going to be randomness, just crashing around into things because that's essentially what you do in Beam and G. But you know, we are going to drive around regularly as well because the whole point of this video or the whole point Point of me playing this game in particular this week is to celebrate getting my permit of course again by the time you're watching this i already have my permit but at the time i'm recording this i'm gonna take my test in like what two days yeah i'm gonna take my test in like two days all right so let's get into it Wait, how long has it actually been since I said, let's get into it? I use that phrase, like, in my videos, like, from early 2020 when I posted twice a week. I haven't really used that phrase lately, but regardless, let's get into it. Okay, so for some reason, lately I've been playing this map a lot. Where is it? Here, Small Island, USA. I don't know. I've been playing this map a lot recently. I don't know what it is about this map. It's good for driving around normally, I mean, because the roads are very, like, windy. Uh, but it's also good for, like, randomly crashing. It's very easy to randomly crash. I think we're going to start off playing normally we're gonna start off playing normally also this is some blue ice G fuel and here we are I actually made this yesterday but I didn't finish it so I put it in the fridge all right so of course we spawned in with the default truck who needs the default truck so let's just select another car you know on this computer I actually don't really have a ton of mods for BBNG I mean I used to have a lot of mods like on my old computer not really now I don't know I don't think I really need them I used to use this thing over here a lot the Hiroshi sunburst um, in my last BBNG video which was like April yeah April uh, I used this thing a lot to drive around regularly and at the time I used this thing a lot generally and we'll just use the Hiroshi Sunburst anyway because I don't really use this car too much anymore now for regular driving but yeah see just some nice regular driving I'll zoom in a little bit this is a manual as well I think I mentioned in my previous BMG video I like manuals I, I've like liked them for like a year at this point it's basically been my dream to have a first car as a manual or to have a manual as my first car that still is my dream but like if I'm talking realistically I'm not sure if that's possible just because like right now we're in like a a weird situation like with uh like the flood and stuff in my house which i'm not really gonna get into but oh you see how this road is windy here i don't know so that's kind of been like impeding that a little bit so i might you know get an automatic as my first car but probably not gonna get my first car until like april if i'm being honest which honestly seems like far away but it's probably not it's probably april's probably gonna come by like nothing it feels weird that it's already like october i mean the fact that i started school it feels like i started school like yesterday and it's like already my birthday it's already been a month that that's like hard to believe you know that's the trade the trademark phrase on my channel right and you see i'm clearly going way too fast here way too fast here all right but anyway like you know right now of course i'm not focused like on driving a manual because like i mean i'm focusing on getting my permit i haven't actually been driving like real driving in a while um and by the way when i say real driving all the, the only driving i've ever done is in parking lots okay i've never been on roads before without a permit literally on thursday maybe friday that, that that's gonna be like the first time i'm ever gonna drive on the road and i'm gonna start out on back roads as well i'm not just gonna go on like the you know the main roads instantly uh, i think I think on Sunday, no, Saturday, this Saturday, I'm actually gonna go driving for pretty much most of the day, actually. And then on Sunday, I'm gonna have like a party with my friends. 
which should also be fun. Because I have a very eventful week this week, which I appreciate. Because, I mean, with fully virtual school, even just going shopping, going to the supermarket is eventful. Because I'm staying home five days a week. Mostly weekends, too. So, like, seven days a week staying home. But, you know, having, a, like, a week as eventful, like, as mine now, it's, it's great, honestly, to have a week like this. Like, today, I'm actually going to go to the Cheesecake Factory. Because, again, today is my birthday when I'm recording this. Uh, I'm going to go to the Cheesecake Factory with my parents. We're going to celebrate. And then Thursday, I'm actually going to take the test, do some driving. Driving. Friday, I might do some driving. Uh, Saturday, I'm going driving. Sunday, I have the party. So that's a lot of stuff happening in this one week here. All right, you see, I just did a full loop around the island. We're back. We're back to where we started, literally. I'm just going to keep driving around and providing commentary. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I mean, the thing with fully virtual school now is like, you know, at the end of 10th grade, I'm like the end of last year, I went to school fully in person for like a month. So like I'm used to it or like I was used to it. Uh, and during the summer, for almost the entire summer, like I commuted to New York City like to do an internship. So. So clearly I'm very used to like in-person activities and kind of leaving you know this whole virtual stuff because of COVID behind. Yeah we were kind of forced to come back to fully virtual for school just because of the flood as I was talking about before. You probably know that at this point because I mentioned it several times on this channel. In case you don't there was this flood that came around or like this big storm that came around. Uh, it flooded the first floor of my house as well as my school. So we're fully virtual in school uh, until November 1st uh, and again I'm recording this October 12th, so ooh, don't crash. So we got another about half a month before returning back to school, but honestly, that half a month is probably going to go by quickly, so it's not much more virtual left, but it's going to be really exciting when it's over and I can actually go back to fully in person. I mean, you know, I'm used to virtual again now because I've been doing it, what, a couple weeks now. You know, I haven't actually properly done fully virtual, like fully virtual, since like February 2020. So again, it was like really weird to get used to because past then I've at least been doing hybrid, then going in every day. So, and then, you know, the internship during the summer. So it's it's like kind of weird to get used to uh, do, doing fully virtual again, but okay I think that's enough just regular driving for now, you know, oh, oh Okay, I applied the handbrake there for some reason of course, you know I'm gonna be rusty with driving because it's, it's 730 in the morning So I got like five hours of sleep last night I was very well rested during the week and I got like 10 hours of sleep I don't know if that has anything to do with my ability to drive in BMNG, but it might all right Let's maybe get an automatic as well because that's what I'm focusing on right now Like, you know, maybe later in the year earlier next year. I'll focus on manual but in real life in terms of real life obviously now I'm, I'm feeling the abishu pessima yeah sure uh which one should we do okay well this one's an automatic there we go i don't really like how this car like handles if i'm being honest like with the steering wheel you know i don't really have much more to say because like you know i think i did a thorough job of rambling while i was driving around the uh, hiroshi sunburst basically saying what i wanted to do for my birthday and everything i basically got it all out at that point so you know finding things to commentate about like for the rest of this video might be a little little bit annoying or it might be a little bit difficult to think about things to say for the rest of this video maybe I'll just provide commentary on what's happening so on the top right you see a little shed up there yeah we're passing that shed up there I'm driving pretty recklessly you know it's not a great idea considering I'm trying to drive around normally up here you can see two houses towards the right you see we're just gonna kind of maneuver our way up up here and the two houses are on this side now now we looped back again and this is where we started uh, now you see we're speeding up a little bit we're probably speeding we're going like 40 miles an hour here and I'm kind of driving on like the towards the left side of the road which is not ideal and that's definitely not ideal and I am clearly speeding right now okay 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 relax 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 do not do that in real life or on your road test <laughs> Hey, let's just go down here, do some off-roading by the beach, because why not? Well, you would not do this in real life, once again. I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's go back up here. Oh! I didn't see that rock there. Definitely don't do that on your road test. Hopefully that didn't bring any bad luck for my road test or my permit test or anything. Nah, it didn't. You know, it's fine because this is a video game. Things don't matter in here. It's much harder to handle a vehicle in a video game because you don't have your actual proper controls. You have this thing to control the steering wheel. All right, anyway, I kind of do want to switch maps. I'll go on like one more map. We'll do a bit of reckless driving, <laughs> meaning like crashing into everything. I know I said like we're going to do a little bit of regular driving, but I know this turned out to be mostly regular driving, which is not bad at all. 
definitely not bad oh yeah they updated the grid map right like with this new update i actually never played on this map so i i guess it's a good idea to play this map on video for the first time yeah so they had a big update like at the start of summer like when they added oh i didn't show you the ai i forgot about that yeah they actually added ai so like you can actually have like other cars like driving around like with you like driven by ai uh and they actually will drive around and follow traffic laws and stuff i don't know i forgot to show that for some reason but i i doubt that ai exists on this map but you see this is grid map v2 so this is literally just like you know the the original grid map but like in the update at the beginning of summer they completely revamped this grid map uh and they also added in the ai and stuff so this is actually my first time on this new grid map and th this looks completely different i thought they just added in a couple of things but no definitely not this is completely different than the original grid map honestly i like the original grid map just kind of from the nostalgia of it almost i don't even know if i want to say nostalgia but i started playing bmng in like fifth grade whatever so like that that was like almost six years ago when i started playing this game the grid map was like the first map i played in this game so yeah the grid map is kind of nostalgic okay let's just crash into this thing over here there you go just do we we need to get a little bit of reckless driving in because it's bmng i mean come on you gotta get a little bit of reckless driving in let me actually see uh, yeah just break on a dime like that activate your abs right i don't know if you can get ai here okay also you can misha is barking what are you barking at anyway you can spawn cars like with police as well but i typically don't like to spawn with police in bmng because the police ai kind of sucks in this game you can literally be driving completely normally and then they'll give you a ticket for reckless driving and driving the wrong side of the road especially on this map there is no wrong side of the road on this map i'm actually kind of curious as to how cars would drive here because there is no road so i don't know how they're gonna drive maybe just randomly like okay look you see got the other cars going now you guys are probably confused because there are no roads right see they all spawn in a straight line but they're like not doing anything now normally if you're on a city map like with regular roads these guys will start driving around but sure i guess they're just prop cars over there why not let me actually crash into one of them and again in real life i would never do this okay let's just go full speed we'll crash into you okay that wasn't too bad of a crash okay you hit that guy as well now if i reset oh these guys spawned all the way down here okay let me go back to them i think they're just gonna reset back in their original spot i think that's what they do let's see or they're just gonna stay like that okay all right you know i'm actually gonna go back what did I just do? Oh, I pressed F1. Okay. I'm just gonna go back on... Or actually, should I go back on Small Island? Yeah, we'll go back on Small Island. I think that was enough reckless driving. So, you know, this video was definitely a lot more just nice regular driving, which is definitely not bad. Oh, that was a very quick spawn. Wow. So I'm actually going to spawn in the AI here. On this map in particular, the AI is a little bit problematic because the AI scripts, like, you know, they're, they're not perfect, clearly. Uh, especially in this map, there are very, like, narrow roads. So, like, when a car is driving, like, this way and then, like, there's a stream of cars coming this way, uh, the cars are, they're both just going to stop because, according to them, they don't have space. Now, in real life, the car on the left, kind of, like, where there, when there's only, like, one car and there's a whole stream of cars on the other side, the car would just, like, kind of pull over a little bit on the gravel like on the dirt on the side and let the stream pass through at least that's how, that's what i would imagine happens in real life but you know in the bmng ai like you know they don't know that so the bmng ai is not the smartest but like you know it's something but of course it's good to have the ai obviously okay there they are so you can see they're starting to drive around normally for fun just for fun we can actually do some reckless driving here we're gonna get a bus and no that's not the bus i wanted no there we go okay so with the hero bus i, I showed this bus in my previous bmng video this bus is so special because we got rocket engines and it's fun to drive it's also fun to go crazy and crash around in this thing uh, but anyway, let's just completely not follow traffic laws. And you can see over here are the cars. I'm sorry, guy. So there you go. You see the AI just driving around nicely, normally, while I'm just using my rockets and swerving to the right. See, I want a car to come in the other direction so I can show you what I mean by, like, both of these guys stopping. Okay, let's just, you know, I'm obviously paying no regard to, like, proper laws right now. Clearly not clearly no oh my god here we go okay we got a car coming along over here let's see if i can have a car coming in on the opposite side that would be ideal i just just, just that's just one thing i want to demonstrate look i'm for the most part following traffic laws for the most part probably speeding though so you know you could just drive around normally like following these cars and you know following traffic laws now in this game for some reason these ais can break on a dime and accelerate on a dime i don't know if that's a real phrase but you know i don't know if they intentionally made cars break on a dime or bmng wanted to simulate 
idiots, essentially. Not idiots, but you know, people who don't know how the what the heck they're doing on the road. Either way, it's good practice to deal with those types of people, which I haven't really had to deal with with this group of AI in particular, nor have I had to deal with a car coming in on the opposite direction. Can a car please come in the opposite direction? I'm literally just trying to demonstrate one point here. Oh, I'm tailgating this guy. Oh, oh you see, 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 see. Now, of course, that was also kind of my fault because I was tailgating this guy for seemingly nothing. Also, that's another thing. The AI, the AI will randomly break on a dime. Like, as I said, like, randomly. They'll stop for nothing. Like, what, what are you stopping for? There's no stop sign here. Like, you see, you're going to stop? What do you need to stop here for? What is there to stop here? Like, literally. Oh, like, you come up here and then you stop. What do you need to stop for? There's nothing you even need to stop for over there. I just stopped there for demonstration, but what do you stop for? Especially break on a dime. For what? What do you break on a dime for there? Another glitch with the AI. So of course it's not perfect, and I'm definitely not trying to bash it or anything. Of course it's not perfect. I'm just glad it exists. But I'm just kind of showing you some of the flaws that I found with it. That is me going way too fast. I like how I literally rear-ended this truck a while ago, and this guy literally did not care whatsoever. Okay, let, I don't have time for this. Let's just go around all these guys. Okay, okay, oops. That's fine. That's okay. Let's just go around. All right, we're good. See, not even a scratch to the bus, literally. Look at that. Look how strong we are. Can a car please come from the opposite direction? No. I'm almost done, like, looping around the entire island. If a car doesn't come from the opposite direction, then I'm just gonna end the video. <laughs> I would have ended the video anyway, like, if a car did come from the opposite direction, of course, but... See, we swerve to the right now, so you see, I gotta, like, keep my wheel turned this way, like, turn towards the left to counter it. Yeah, you see, the cars are not coming in from the opposite direction. Probably because they hear me and they know I want something, and just rear-ended this guy again they probably know i want something ah, i think there is a car coming in on the opposite direction over here because you see how this huge stream of cars are, are stopped here and they're not moving watch why that is oh wait my front wheel is completely popped what how did that happen that's because this guy is in the grass with your hazards on Bro, go around you see how you see how stupid this guy see these ais don't know that they can just go around and they don't need to wait there and the ais behind this pink truck also don't know that they can just go around i'm the only one one that knows to go around that's another flaw with the ai so the ais are not stopped because a car coming in oh you're going in the opposite direction let's see let's see what happens right you see how this guy stops you, you see how like you have cars going in this direction and in this direction right and you see they're beeping i don't know if you heard that but like you see how this pink truck is preventing the other two from like passing because the road is too narrow and like they don't know how to move off to the side anyway that's going to be the end of this episode uh again as i was saying before it's gonna be a very exciting week for me and again hopefully by the time you're watching this i will have my permit and i will have gone driving and hopefully you know i'm gonna go driving off and then uh, hopefully i'm gonna improve my driving eventually getting my license and stuff obviously so thank you for watching and goodbye